Hey there, how you doing? Just finished a coaching call with one of my uh, mastermind members. Really, really cool guy. And um, this gentleman's just on 160K, which is um, a big turnaround. He's gone through um, a, you know, a pretty tough time what, with COVID and all the challenges around it. However, he's done 160K. So on this coaching call, um, there was a group coaching call. One of the outcomes I wanted was to understand the, the exact steps that he'd been through. And with that, we could lay out step one, step two, step three, step four. What were the drivers? What were the inputs? So what can we replicate again? So for example, in terms of actually getting the lead in for the role, what campaign was used, what were the templates, what's the sequence, etc. In terms of conversion with the client or clients, what was the conversion process? Did we send um, any indoctrination material before the um, conversion call? Or was it, um, do we, is it something we did on the call? Do we have a framework for that call itself with the client? And then number three, in terms, in terms of delivering the candidate, what did we do? So I just want to share with you really a um, question you might want to ask yourself, which is this. What do I need right now? So when um, Craig came on the call, he said, right, I've had this 160K, which is fab. So Craig, what, what do you want to leave the call with? Always ask a member, right, what do you want to leave the call with? I write it down on my trusted iPad. Just so I'm very, very clear what, we, what he wants to leave the call with. So Craig wants to leave the call with um, a strategy to get clients, okay? A strategy to get clients. That was the outcome. So went through a set of frameworks with Craig, and as part of that process, um, We've got a, a set of steps here, as you can see, and got some models that I drew when I was speaking to the gentleman. So what it turned out was the, the, the reason why he got these roles was because of the candidate. So we got on the call and Craig says, right, I, want, I need a strategy to get clients, a strategy to get clients. Now, when I reverse engineered his, his um, success, these, these placements, the actual process originated with this particular type of candidate. So this particular type of candidate is a candidate who is in, let's say, tier two, in tier two, as in the, the placement is in tier two rather, where the role is, but the candidate himself is actually from tier one. So the candidate currently works for a company in tier one. The role that's an offer is a tier two role. So for the candidate, it's actually taken a step backwards, you'd think. So if you're a candidate, there's going to be three, three main drivers. One might be right now salary. Um, second might be security. Um, in this case, with this, with this candidate, as a consulting candidate, it was part of what, well, what I term an ascension model. They want a career ladder. So what Craig did very, very well was identifying a tier one candidate who would move to a tier two client. Okay, so a tier one candidate who'd move to a tier two client so they could progress their, their, their career. Now, because they had this tier one candidate and it was sent out to tier two clients, what that meant was we used a, um, an MPC campaign in this instance. And what it meant was that one candidate brought in multiple roles. It actually brought in, that brought in three roles, um, another strategy, an avatar strategy brought in two roles, another strategy brought, strategy brought in one role. So this brought in three roles. So what actually triggered these three roles, this one candidate, with this one candidate, is that particular type of candidate. So when we say, well, right, what do we need? We need clients. Right, what do we do to get clients? We get on LinkedIn, we get one-to-ones, we, um, we try and get a referral, we go back through our, um, our candidates we've placed in the last year or two, and we give them a call on site, or at home as things are now. And we've got this sporadic approach to getting clients. Whereas usually, if you take a rear view mirror, if you've got some form of success, there would be triggers there, and input a process and output you can repeat. So in this case, beginning of the call was, Craig was, Andy, I need to get more clients, I need a client strategy. As it actually turns out, when I broken this down into a number of other models, listening to Craig laying out on the call, what actually we've got is a need for candidates. So I said to Craig, right, listen, if we could get, rather than one candidate of this type, so a tier two company with a tier one candidate, if we could get, say, five or six tier one candidates, what, how many roles do you think that would bring? It's going to bring a ton. So the actual outcome is we need to get these candidates. So what this call ended with was to replicate the three roles. We have a candidate strategy. So step one to get clients here is to get candidates. So we've, um, well, we're going to test a new strategy with, with Craig and an ascension strategy. 
But when we think about, right, what do I need right now? I need clients, I need candidates. Take a step back and say, and look at what the model is. Look at what the actual trigger points are historically. So in this case, often, the answer is going to be right in front of you. So first thing here is we, to get more clients to Craig, we actually need to get more candidates, step one. Secondly, so you bought in three, three roles with that one, um, that one tier, one tier one candidate going to tier two clients. Secondly, you had a avatar strategy, which I won't go through in too much detail now, but essentially we use an avatar strategy to, um, to open doors with clients in a pretty under the radar way. And that brought in two roles. So again, what were the metrics? So we sent out this template. We had um, four follow-up templates of these, of these um, interims. So two days, five days, etc. These were the actual metrics behind it. I send out 50, I get five appointments. Of five appointments, I get one role. We run it again. 50, I get six appointments, I get one role. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see if it's linear. So now we've got something we can repeat. So right now in COVID and in lockdown, people are going crazy. You know, it's, um, um, it's a real test of mental fatigue right now. And the reality is, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but the reality is we need to accept it for what it is. We, we can moan about it. We can um, do our what ifs. But the reality is, no one's come and save us, only we're going to save us, so let's get on with it. So in this case, if you need more clients, more candidates right now, before you get into a scattergun approach, you're at home with the kids, you've got stress thinking, can I keep the house? Or you've got stress thinking, right, I've got a team of 30 people, and management's a headache, I'm, I, my role's now become a relationship manager, not a business leader. Just take a step back and say, right, what's my outcome here? What, what are the little triggers I can look back on the last 90 days, 180 days? If I do these few things, I can repeat them. Because whether you need to get a bit of momentum um, or you need to take a big jump, usually if you look backwards, there'll be some form of trigger points. So again, ask yourself the question, what do I need, clients or candidates? And usually someone will say to me, I don't need both. Right, if you need clients, is there any trend looking back that we could reuse, you could reuse now, to get some form of predictable outcome. And do you, to get clients, what is your step one? So in this case, step one actually is finding these tier one candidates who'd move to a tier two client. So then we need a basic strategy to get these candidates, um, filter them, do some under radar analysis without speaking to them all, so we know who would move. And so if we get 20 positives and we go through our, our automation, we only speak to the 20 who have signified, yeah, I'm interested, to save our time. And they come a bit more pre-qualified. So think about, again, you need clients, you need candidates. What's the starting point? Okay, with that said, I'm, I'm sending you lots of love and um, stay strong. Stay strong.